Hey guys, what's up? This is EffectsDude79, and I am back with a new Sony Vegas tutorial. As you can probably tell from what's going on, this is the Shine tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make these light rays appear out of any word or any text or any image for that matter that you want it to. Um, this is my first tutorial that I've recorded with my brand new mic. Um, you can definitely tell a difference in the audio quality. It's a lot better. So, um... Hope this all goes well. So let's just get right into the tutorial. I'm just going to make a new project and we're going to go into media generators. I'm just going to get rid of this and bring out some text and we can make it anything we want. I'm going to make it just shine for the purpose of this tutorial. Make it a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go into the effects, into effects, and we're going to add the Sony light rays. It's right there. Should be in your plugins filter packages folder. Um, if it's not, uh, you're, it's probably somewhere on your Vegas, Sony Vegas install disk. So just browse around there. You can probably find it. Uh, just hit OK. And we can see we have a bunch of options here. And you, you can see immediately what we can do with this just by playing around with the strength. I'm going to sh show you two variations on this. We're just going to go ahead and turn it up about that high. We can drag this little light source dot and that's over there. And now we're just going to scroll forwards in time a little bit and drag it to the other. So that will create this little animation. And then the other variation is uh, just turning, keyframing the strength from zero to a hundred and you could do the light source really wherever you want but I prefer it in the middle when I'm doing this variation and then just turn it back down so you can create some really cool images and stuff I'll show you how to do an image in just a second so that's uh, two things you can do with it um, you can also add a light or a lens fair and that looks pretty cool you can just add that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna import my logo Let's see if I can find it the Husky Studios logo and I'll show you how to do the shine effect with that uh, by the way if you ever get one of these uh, where you don't have the edges this is a quick little tip you can just go into two ways to fix that if you want to, you can go to source on event pan slash crop and just change maintain aspect ratio to no, and then I'll sort of stretch it out. But sometimes that doesn't look all that good, so I just like to drag a solid color below, or, sorry, below it. There, so that sort of does that. Quick tip. Um, add our event FX and light rays. So you can see the image sort of explodes. You could use a really, you could use this as sort of like a flash transition if you wanted to. You know, I'll turn up the sensitivity, or sorry, the strength, and you can see it works virtually the same way with pictures, probably even cooler. Um, and uh, I'll actually show you guys how to create one of those lens flares, those handy dandy lens flares. So Sony lens flare. And you can sort of kind of see it. You, if you bring up the tent and change the color for just a while, something really bright like this, you can sort of see it there. It works a lot better when it's not on white, but obviously you can just move it around. There you can start to see it. And you can just animate that to follow the little white phrase. I don't particularly like to use that. I think that actually takes away from the little shine. It looks a lot better without it, in my opinion. I don't know about your opinion, but that's my opinion, so get your own. Um, so that's basically the tutorial. It's obviously a pretty short tutorial, but it's an awesome effect that you can use in uh, movies, and it is really awesome. So I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Please check out my website. That's ed79.tk, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.